Hi there, I'm Micah from the Rapid Made Sales Team. If you're looking for a quick and efficient way to get a quote and place an order for your next manufacturing project, you're in the right place. Today, I'll walk you through how to use our Instant Quote tool. It's designed to make your experience seamless and straightforward. First things first, you'll need to log in. Logging in saves your contact information, shipping addresses, previous quotes, and orders. This means when it's time to reorder, everything is just a click away. Now, I wanna point out that new customers get an introductory 20% discount code in their registration email for their first order. I've already registered, so I don't need to do that. I'm gonna log in here and have access to the tool. Once you're logged in, you'll wanna upload your part file. You can either do this by selecting the file from your system clicking here, browse files, and selecting from the list, or you can drag and drop your part and drop it in. You'll notice your file has to upload and then analyze. Sometimes this takes a little bit of time, so be patient. Once your model has uploaded, you can view it in the viewer right in the center of the screen. You wanna make sure that the dimensions are correct. You can hover over the file name and you can see the dimensions there. If the units are incorrect, you can change the units between inches and millimeters next to the file name. It will reprocess the price based on the size. Next, you'll select the specifications for your part. Choose your preferred manufacturing technology, material, color, and finish. We offer a wide range of options to meet your specific requirements. Each technology has different material options and color options. We also offer finishing services like paint and heat stake inserts. You can also select the quantity of parts you wanna order and your production lead time. Our standard lead time is five business days. We also offer a two business day rush option, which charges a premium. You can also put a message in with your order to communicate with our staff. Please be aware that orders placed after 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Pacific, will be initiated next business day. If you have other parts to add to your order, you can just drag and drop them right here or select the upload button here. And you can go through the same process again to change the characteristics before saving it. Once you're happy with all the parts, you can add them to your cart. There's an add to cart button right up at the top right hand side of the screen. So I'm gonna click that button to add the part to my cart. I can see it's in my cart now. I can go open the cart here, or I can open it from the top of my screen. I'm in the cart view right now and I can see everything that I've added to my order. There's a couple different options from this view. I can save out a PDF quote. If I click that, it will generate a quote and email it to me. There you go. And if I go into my email, I should see an email with a PDF version of my quote that I can forward to my purchasing department or discuss with my team. Also, if I go into my quote log, I can see previously generated quotes and I can actually check out from there. There is an option from your email to check out via the quote number. Creating a quote will freeze your shopping cart. So please make sure that you have your quote looking as you want it uh, before you create the quote. Uh, we wanna make sure that your quotes are in a locked state when we generate them so that the price doesn't change. So I'm gonna click on check out and press the back to quote button and I will see my frozen shopping cart here. Here, I can either reject the quote and close it out of our system, or I can actually finally check out. I'm gonna check that button and you'll see our final order summary page, which is very similar to normal e-commerce websites. There's a couple important points you'd wanna consider from this page. First, that your bill to and ship to addresses are correct, pretty obvious. You can also set your shipping method, your delivery method. Uh, we offer a wide range of options, including will call for Oregon and Washington customers. Um, we have a couple different payment methods for you. Uh, one is pay by invoice. The other is pay by card payment. If you pay by card payment, when you click place order and pay, you will have an option to enter your credit card number 
right there. If you select pay by invoice, we will email you a secure payment link to initiate your order. Pay by invoice allows you to pay by ACH or you can also pay by credit card. Another advantage of pay by invoice is if your company is set up with credit terms, we will not bill you immediately. Customers with terms like net 30 or net 15 will have their orders initiated immediately and they will be billed 15 or 30 days respectively after their order has shipped. If you're interested in credit terms, please contact our accounting department. Please be aware that we will run a credit check. Usually we do not extend terms on the first order unless your company has outstanding credit. The last thing you need to do before placing an order is agree to our terms. You can see the terms by clicking on the terms and conditions. I know this looks like a lot, but you can actually see a more legible version at the bottom of the tool with this drop down menu. If you're not familiar with 3D printing or manufacturing, I have to stress, please read the terms. Uh, there's a lot of information in there that uh, is important to your order as far as delivery times, wall thickness, and any kind of gotchas. You're not ordering off the shelf parts here. Everything is custom. If you're concerned about your order or anything related to your design, best to talk to our staff and understand the limitations of our processes or maybe we can even produce a first article for you before we produce the rest of your order. One last thing, if you're not familiar with our processes, finishes, materials, I highly suggest scrolling down on the page and looking at the See Material Options button. You'll have a slider here that outlines our four major technologies that we're offering on the tool, as well as what materials are on there, the accuracy of the process, the resolution, the size of the build bed, and the wall thickness. If you want more in-depth information about our processes, you can click on the actual detailed product info page where we give you a rundown of those technologies. If you are not familiar with these technologies, we are always just a click, phone call, or email away. We typically try to respond to everybody's inquiries as soon as possible. Literally, Andrew and I are almost always here during the business day and would love nothing more than to give you personal service. I hope you learned everything you need to to use this tool from this video, and thank you very much for your time. Have a nice day.